Hey guys, Coach Tony here, and uh, something I tracked down a while ago, maybe somebody could find it, link it in the description somewhere, somewhere deep in a forum, but uh, one thing that came up was in the old Baylor Bears, veer and shoot, whatever you want to call it, uh, spread ISO football, there was a point, and it made a lot of sense, they said where, what was the rhyme and reason between putting the tight end in a, da a traditional tight end set or putting him in that sniffer set and the answer was when they came out in the four down they liked him in our Browns liked him in the sniffer because of that angle on the inside zone it was an easy kick a block on inside zone and gap schemes all right as opposed to putting him out on the wing where even you know Ignore everything else, you know, say we have a stack over here, an X over here, and, you know, they play two on two, he's dead, and, you know, and they, let's just say they play four on, or three on two, and that's dead. The issue with putting him as a traditional tight end versus that set, you know, I bumped Z down here, uh, is, you know, he had a tougher time, we kind of spilled the ball out, so, versus an even front, he did like to put the tight end inside. Now, first the odd front, I'll draw that up real quick. Now, assuming three on two, two on one, box count football. First an odd front, and I'll just draw him in the wing. They liked him out here to create, physically create the extra gap because, let's draw up a three, three stack. It forced them to break, break a three, three stack or in a three, four type defense. That nine tech, that C gap was unaccounted for. So, it's 3-3 three, three stack. And say they walk that 9 tech down there. They gave up that C gap. And you could just run the power right in there. With a dart. I know they were big on dart. Trap. Counter. Whatever you want to call it. Again, it was an odd front. They like doing that. And, hell, if they stayed stacked, you have three double teams to work with. And the ball would just if it bounce. So be it. You know. Chances are this guy came down, you know, and you split the Red Sea there. Um, so, yeah, that was just, I just want to make this quick video, this quick snippet, get it online and get, get the conversation going on this. So, again, in review, uh, the off browse veer and shoot system, what I read online, it was, and, you know, I've seen this work for myself. It's a genius in theory is, and I, I do carry all three in my offense. And, again, I, I just quick disclaimer, I do not explain for obvious reasons, I do not explain what I personally do. I just go by theory and, you know, maybe a thing or two I do. But uh, that's for my opponents to find out, not you guys. But, uh, again, even front, they like putting the tight end as a sniffer. Odd front, they like creating the extra gap, gap putting them in as a tight end and possibly the wing. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.